Shalom, shalom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is Apostle Betsy. And I'm Apostle Paula, and we're here with the next letter line, number 33. Holy letter number 33. Here we go. <laughs> Like we do with all the letter lines, we're just going to do a complete run through and afterwards we'll say a few words about it. So we start off with a strong uh, explanation of these numbers, of number 33. In Greek it means properly lead, come on, to go, come, come now. In Hebrew it means my father is help, Abazites, tribe of Manasseh. And the reserve the source of this number 33 is appearance. And from that we get command in column D, which we link with the blue in column E. Enduring evil, patient of evil, patiently forbearing, the quality of enduring, bearing up, especially when harmed, treated unjustly. That is, when inflicted with undeserved injury. And then sensation back in column D, 719, we link with God has called, God of knowledge. So let us now read what the message is from letter line 33. And we also remember that we received this letter line, I don't know, a, a couple of weeks ago when we did the videos about 933, 339, and maybe 399. Three. Nine, three, three. So we have the three three is coming from those uh, groups of numbers. Got, yeah. yes. So we read the meaning of letter line three three thirty three. You lead people saying, Come on, come now. The Father is helping us to speak of truth with those who seek it, and of knowledge with those who have sinned in their error. Yeshaya says what you will hear in your ear, in the other ear proclaim from your rooftops. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For no one lights a lamp and puts it under a basket, nor does one put it in a hidden place. Rather, one puts it on a stand so that all who come and go will see its light. Another way to say it is, the Most High Father in Heaven is helping you to appear and lead people by saying to them, Come on now. The Associate Bible verse we take from Luke 3 verse 3 in the King James Version. And he came into all the country about Jordan, preaching the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. We continue with the blue. You are commanded to be you are commanded to be patient of evil, especially when harmed or treated unjustly, that is, when afflicted with undeserving injury. Understand that He, 
Holy Isaiah healed you when you were sick, that you might reign. Hallelujah. And the explanation there in black, being harmed unjustly and then reigning seems to be a reference to us being resurrected in Christ, as we read in Romans 2 verse 17 and in Romans 6 from verses 1 to 7. The Bible verse associated with letter line 3-3, we take from John 20. The first day of the week cometh Mary Magdalene early, when it was yet dark, unto the sepulchre, and seeth the stone taken away from the sepulchre. This Bible verse confirms the underlying symbolism of resurrection. And in John 2 verse 4, we read, Jesus saith unto her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? Mine hour is not yet come. This Bible verse confirms the underlying symbolism of persecution and glory after resurrection. We read the blue section. Yah has called you to knowledge. As his holy Ashiah's disciple, say you say, show us the place where you are for we must seek it. He says to you, whosoever has ears should hear. There is a light within a person of light, and it shines on the whole world. If it does not shine, it is dark. Ten months ago, I, James and Peter, sent you another secret book that the Savior revealed to me. The last two verses we take from Mark 4, and this one we read, And he began again to teach by the seaside, and there was gathered unto him a great multitude, so that he entered into a ship and sat in the sea, and the whole multitude was by the sea on the land. In 1 Corinthians 1 verse 9 we read finally, God is faithful by whom ye were called unto fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. So this letter line is like all of them, just amazing. And the first sentence we have here, you lead people saying, come on now. Well, that's exactly what we're doing. <laughs> Even as we speak to you right now, we're saying, come on, let's go. Holy Father is calling you out of Babylon. You have to leave her. So that is truly a big part of our ministry that Holy Father is gathering, regathering uh, true spiritual Israel from the four corners of the earth. So that is very true. But not only that, a message that I I received years ago um, it, I have a video about it and it um, Holy Ashaya said to me Vinny Vinny uh, something I can't remember now Benu or something and when you look it up it, it says come come friends come on now or come friends so it really literally is an ongoing message that uh, I've received over years so we have it here this part right here also I had a dream about that um, not only one, but I've had reoccurring, this message is one that reoccurs, where in the dream, people were in uh, an office building, and I think I said from the rooftop, I said, Jesus is Lord, or something like that, and I was screaming it from the rooftop, but, and they were in their office, and they were like, yes, they were clapping, they were clapping, they were like whispering and clapping so softly, like, yeah, we agree with you, yay, but they, they weren't bold enough to be able to stand on the rooftop and, and scream it, you know, so, you know, here again, you see this idea repeated in the letter line. This part here about the... The Holy Father is helping you to appear and say to them. So, you know, I don't know how it's going to manifest in your life, but in our life, we are getting more visibility because we're doing more things like the NGO, having traveled here to Tanzania, uh, we're looking to do uh, radio, we've, we've bought more land, we're, we're doing things that over time is going to make us be seen more to appear. Even here in Tanzania, we're, we're being introduced to different people and uh, they wouldn't have known about us before. And as we're growing in our ministry, Holy Father is telling us that it is a part of our ministry that we'll be going out to 200 cities across Africa and teaching what you're learning here, the Book of Numbers, 
uh, to to people and we'll, we will be saying to them, come on now, <laughs> come on now. So yeah, just another confirmation of what we've been taught over years. And what we see in all the letter lines is there's always you know, a judgment of where you are, but also guidance and instruction. And this is what I would like to just mention here. I see an instruction. You know, Father is raising up and has raised up harvest workers. And he is now saying to us, you know, you are that light. As a harvest worker, you are that light. So we need to become comfortable with this concept that we have to shine. We have to be seen. There is a work to be done. And, but Father's also instructing us, you know, be patient with evil. Be patient with evil. You will come up against people who are different, people who have not had the training that you as a saint, as an apostle, as an evangelist has had from Father over many years. But those are the people that we now need to engage with, work with them, uh, share the gospel with them so that they can come in as well. So guidance that we need to take note of in this letter line. And, and uh, in addition, that's something we've really had to, you know, you receive tests when you're going up your spiritual levels. And this was a big part of our test, having received harm and evil from others unjustly, but being able to forgive them, being able to turn the other cheek. And this is what needs to be done if you're going to reign, if you're going to get these promises that Holy Father is telling us here above about uh being able to shout from the rooftop about being a light about being able to say and do these things you have to be able to pass this test of when someone smacks you 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 turn the other cheek amen and then you know this story about mary magdalene witnessing the first witness of the resurrection of jesus this is also about appearing one of the messages that we are also teaching is that we have to be a living sacrifice. And that means we need to die to our old fleshly nature. And when we do that, we will be resurrected with Christ. We will shine His light. We have to appear, arise, come forward to reflect what He is within us. Now here in the last part, we can see again the light being highlighted as we see above where it says, you know, you don't hide a light under the bed or under a basket here. And so here we can see the same kind of message about um, being a person that's shining the light of Holy Ashaya on the world. So this is important because one of the things uh, you might see on our page is that uh, I've written, we are is real lights. And again, it's coming from this idea of everything that is real is from heaven and heavenly things. And that is what is real. So it's a wordplay on Israel, right? Uh, in the second part here, it says 10 months ago. And uh, I think Sister has something to say about this. <laughs> uh, we've seen this uh, little uh, sentence in a few letter lines. And we've often been wondering, you know, what exactly does this mean? We've received a message from Holy Ashaya. This is now a good few months ago. Uh, you know, we always have many questions of, you know, about the future. And Holy Ashaya said to us, you will understand in 40 weeks. And we know that is 10 months. So I think we've worked it out as around February, sister. Yes. So uh, hopefully we will understand things even better then, greater clarity. But we have also, we know in, in wakefulness theology, we come together as priests in the order of Melchizedek. We sing on the new moons in our priestly garments. And we have just started a, a cycle of singing 10 people for a 10, 10 month period. I'm not sure whether that is uh, something to do with this, but this 10 is certainly coming up from time to time. I think we've had a letter line before about 10 pillars also. Yes. And I think it's something that we all need to pray about and reflect on. Well, you also have the 10 means completion. 
I mean, you have more number. There's a couple of numbers that mean completion, but 10 is one of those. So we've completed a cycle uh, and we're going to the next one. So and here, you know, it's talking about the secret book and being revealed to you. So these letter lines, this book of numbers is one of the uh, secret books that Holy Father is revealing to us at, in these end days and these end times. So Mark 4, um, again, teaching and preaching and 1 Corinthians, uh, we're called to be in, in fellowship with Holy Ishaya and he is our friend, amen. When you are a keeper of the covenant, covenant and you're doing this work, he is your friend. We've taught about that in the Wakefulness Saturday Sabbath service videos. If you would like to know more information, we, there's a playlist. I put that information under the videos. And uh, as well, this book of numbers has its own playlist. So if you want more information about what is a letter line, what are we talking about, um, go to the, uh, the playlist and all the information is there. And as we always say, you know, this is such a big work. It's, it's impossible for any human being to do it. Each part is alive in itself. It's a never ending spiral of um, fractals. It just goes on and on and on and on. So if you look at these first few columns, maybe you by yourself, you can already understand a bit of what Holy Father is trying to tell you. If not, when you come here and you read this text, you need to apply it to how it fits your life, not just what we've told you here. All of these things are on levels. You have spiritual level, you have a physical level, you have a symbolic level, you have a, you know, all of the levels are there. So it, the way they manifest is different for everyone. But we pray that this has helped you to understand a little bit of what it is. Again, it's just scratching the surface, but we pray that you're blessed. We give all praise, glory, and honor to the Most High Father in heaven. We love you so much in Christ. Have a blessed day. Shalom, shalom. Shalom.